Marcio Barboza. The phenom himself coming in, looking uh, 49 years old, six foot, 240 pounds, looking impressive today. Oh yeah, and he he looked spectacular, and he's facing. He might face his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's 25 year difference between them in age. A 25 year difference? Yeah. Oh man. And his opponent is from Sweden, Tobias Sporong. Tobias, 24 years old, but again, he looked so impressive today. He was just boom. Uh, so both of them are kind of on a roll, but only one can come on top. That's so, true. Yeah. Maybe maybe someone does something really impressive and wins the performance of the night that is right now <laughs> held by Artem Morozov. Is that some kind of joke? N no. Are you trying to poke at me? Why would I? Did you... Did you did you have some interaction with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Don't talk about it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Tobias and Marcio. Next time I'm asking you a question, just don't answer. You just <laughs> keep talking something else. He's like... <laughs> Obviously, Tobias is going to be going for a top role, correct? Clearly. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, Marcio, too. Both so. of them kind of low hand posting. Not posting, but low hand top rolling. So... They should just ask for a strap. Oh, yeah. oh. From Marcio. Wow. That was unexpected, to be honest. The shoulder committed hook. Wow. Wow. He was he was he was low hand. Mm -hmm. Looked looked like he's gonna top roll. Throwing all types of shade out yep. there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Seven different kinds of smoke. Yeah. I'm a weirdo. Well, but if we saw anything uh Earlier, then we saw that Tobias is, can do a, make some adjustments. At least left-handed, he could. So I'm interested to see right-handed yeah, if he can make some adjustments. Yeah. Those guys, they thought we got. Oh, we're a little too mic'd up. Hold on. Uh, does, does he know we're mic'd up? Yeah, yeah. He's like those guys are just talking a lot of shit. <laughs> God. Someone save Marcio. <laughs> There's not a lot of talking going on in the Sweden yeah. corner. <laughs> so, cl interesting fact, they're not brothers. They're not? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if you look at them, you get lost. <laughs> Which one is Tobias? Right, exactly. You know? I know the other one is wearing, you know, blue sh blue sweatshirt. Or right, 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 right. Hoodie. That's how I know. That's the only thing. <laughs> is that ref on the American team, the upside ref? Hmm. I mean, he has the haircut. I'm just asking. He's closer for sure, you know. But you have to earn your place. Exactly. You know. Did you earn your place? No, man, you always got to bring up old stuff. Always bringing up old stuff. Man, live in the now. All right, round two. Yeah. Marcel Barbosa up 1 0. Held on and got into a deep hook there with Tobias and was able to exploit Tobias's uh, oh, looks hooking ability. Yeah, Marcel looks way more aggressive. Yeah, Marcel looks way more aggressive. Yeah, Tobias wants that uh, referee grip. Mm -hmm. He's 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 not. Yeah, it makes sense. You don't want to take a grip when someone's just you know you feel like so uncomfortable getting buried. Right. Oh, that's weird. So Tobias setting up deep in Marcio's palm. Yeah. On purpose. Yeah, he will low hand top roll. He yeah. will try to get away from that hook again, like he did with Sprudnik. But watch Marcio try to top roll. He has it within him. Yep. Oh, very good. Very oh. good. Boom. Good. Ooh. Tobias is amazing. That's all I'm going to say. He is a fantastic Gr arm <laughs> Great <laughs> armor slot. Just made adjustment on the go. 1-1. One, one. We're going to go into round number three. Marcio needs yeah. to make an adjustment now. Yeah, I mean, he has those two styles of outside pulling dialed in, either high hand or low hand top rolling. I mean, Tobias kind of has it, and then the side pressure to back it up. Um, really impressive, dude. This guy is the real deal. Yeah. He, like on the first one, he I'll just try tries posting. He's yeah. like, well, I'm not going to work. Yep. yep. Just dumps the hand, I'm gonna stay protects the pronator. Back protected. Yeah. yeah. And he's so long that he can get in those positions where it's so hard for his opponent to cup in. Right. 
I'd be looking for like um, Marcio to do like a high knuckled cupping style, like a high uh, high hook style, maybe, and able to exploit a little bit to be a scissor wrist. Yeah, but I think again, I think the strap would be better for Marcio because he wants to hold on. You know, it would be easier to co control. But we'll see. Marcio, no stranger to the game, uh, obviously understands adjustments and has the ability to adjust as well. Different builds, on, you know, one is long and, and, uh, and tall, and the other one is sh more short and compact, but the, both amazing arm wrestlers with very versatile. Yeah. Let's try it first. Yep, Marcio going knuckles up, it looks like. So uh, this looks like it's either going to go straps, if they don't go to ref script, either go straps or Marcio going high and sideways. High hook, yeah, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it looks like Tobias wants the ref script. Yeah. Score is currently 1 1. This is round three. First round, Marcio was able to sink in the deep hook. Second round, Tobias was able to exploit Marcio's hand and top roll him with more of a low hand top roll. Let's see how this goes round three. Tobias outside, able to exploit Marcio's wrist, but Marcio reeling it back in. Good oh, position, wow. but Marcio oh. so relentless. Oh, man. It's just going back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> elbow fought a couple of times. Oh. Wow. The elbow fought a couple of times. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even know. Like, that was... That was amazing. Like, Marcio would lose his wrist, get it back, lose his wrist, get it yeah. back. Tobias going sideways, then his arm's opening up, then it's not. Wow. Yeah. Tobias. Tobias. Tobias 2 1 versus Marcio. Okay, so going into round four, Tobias is up 2 to 1. Yeah. Okay. Tobias just made like the ultimate alpha move. He just went to Marcio's side and sat down on his chair. Did he? Yeah. Trying to lay his claim. Yeah. Again, fun fact Paul Lynn and Marcio Barboza are not brothers. <laughs> These <laughs> I would understand how people could misconstrue that as brothers, but um, yeah, yeah, alas, they are not. L look at the chin beard, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. The goatee. The orc and the phenom. Mm. Phenomenal orc. Stop. <laughs> Just stop it. <laughs> Let me drink my drink, my sippy straw. It's whiskey coke. <laughs> All right, so I don't even know what adjustments either one of them make. They both made had a good game plan, and it was working out for both of them. It just got so <laughs> violent on the table that yeah. it just like yeah. worked out for Tobias. Like it could have gone the either uh, the opposite way immediately. Like one one inch adjustment. Okay, two, one. Grip. Yeah, they again. Yeah, the referee, yeah. Referee. Okay, we have yeah, because again okay, they both understand. You know, they're like, uh, let's, let, let's not waste the time. Yeah. And energy. Okay, back. Open, open. And don't push, okay? Sure. Open. Interesting fact. Uh, Marcio and Tobias are not open brothers as well. They're not? No. <laughs> don't push. Oh. Yeah, because one's Brazilian. Oh, they're yeah, Swedish. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready? Go. Ah! Oh, wow. Oh, elbow. Elbow. Oh. Yeah, he went, he went hard with a big jump at the start, I guess. Yes. I, I, I still think it can go either way. This is, this is one of the closest matches we can have. Elbow foul on Marcio, Marcio Barboza. Yeah, one elbow foul Marcio Barboza. Suddenly, Marcio's arm was longer than Tobias's. <laughs> I did not understand how that worked all of a sudden. That's, uh, yeah. Those are the elbow fouls you can see from space, you know. How else are you going to get that height? Exactly. Exactly, yeah. Okay. You have to risk it. <laughs> okay, good. Good adjustment from... From both of them. Going to the straps, round four. Yeah. Marcio, one foul. Marcio just going hard outside. So, okay, straps now. Uh, are they in a ref script? They are not. They did not go to ref script for this round yet so far. No. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, they went. They went. Oh, okay. Right from the start, they said, like, the, uh, yeah. Like at the at the beginning, Marcio is being more explosive off the hit. But once the match starts, then it looks like Tobias is being more aggressive. Once the match kind of gets into its groove and he's hitting and being more violent, so I'm interested to see uh, 
if I feel like if Marcio doesn't pin him right away, then Tobias can has some options and starts making some nice adjustments and might be able to come back. Yeah, I th I think both of them can take the center from the start. You know, it's uh, who will choose the better strategy. Mm. Wrist, straight to wrist. This is this is such a hard match. Like even now, you're like, uh, no, what what should the guys do? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of things are working, you know. A lot of things are not working. Ooh, low hand top roll versus low hand top roll looks like, and yeah. that goes to Tobias. But again, I, I think Marcio can post, deny the hand, and hook him. It depends on his cup. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. If he, if he has enough cup to hold on. Yeah. Oh, you, oh he's already cupped it. Uh, Oh, that was a weird one, but we're in a hook. Wow. We're in a hook. Marcio Barboza. Tobias Sporong. Good hook. Wow. Good hook. Oh, my God. This is a great match. Tobias hanging in there way more than I thought he would. Marcio. This is oh. carnage. This is pure carnage on table. It's Marcio, Marcio Barboza. 2-2. Two, two. Brings it back. Round five, another barn burner. Well, Poland, you just got competition. <laughs> Poland, David Samushi, you just got competition. We're going to do... This is amazing. Mm -hmm. This is what we everybody mm -hmm. wanted mm -hmm. to see. This is what we all wanted to see. Round five, uh, and, and honest, obviously in a hook, I didn't. I thought the moment we went to a hook that Tobias would fall apart, uh, you know, next to Marcio, but he held in there very nicely. Is he listening to music? Oh, He's talking to coach. Uh, he's listening to ABBA. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing queen. Yeah, exactly. Dancing queen. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. look, look at Paul Lynn's elbow. Did you see that? Yeah. You see the tip of the elbow? The I'm bone tired. is bursting out of the skin. Yeah. It's so sharp. And that's normal. Mm -hmm. Average day for Paul. Yeah. It's good that he doesn't have horns. To me, it's his arm run, rubbed. He just hangs out. <laughs> yeah, just like, you want to chill, bro? <laughs> yeah. It's like, w what you listening to? Abba? He's like, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Good song. This is, um, in all honesty, great match. We see so many different styles of pulling. Like, this is the arm wrestling that I always want to see. Mm. It's not only strength. It's not only one being so dominant. Or This is technical arm wrestlers. Arm wrestlers changing their strategy on the go. Almost every match looks different. Right. You know, you kind of you're trying to show your opponent one thing and then you do another one, you know. So, OK, well, they both agreed to ref script because every match has gone to a ref script. Um, wait, what is it? Did you say Marcio has a foul? No, no, no. Uh, it, it's it's uh, no fouls. No fouls. No fouls. Round four. Oh, round no five. fouls. Don't worry about that foul on Marcio. It's just it's going to go away. Round five. Here we go. Round number five. Tobias going for the top roll. Marcio looks like he's also going for the top roll. Shoulder backwards. Yeah, they 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 will go for a strap. Boom! Oh, deep in the hook. Oh, Marcio, it feels so strong there. Both jumping around. Wow, oh, Tobias, so much shoulder commitment. Yeah. This obviously favors Marcio, but Tobias is so impressive in here as well. Yeah. Get him out of his shoulder. Marcio's got him out of his shoulder. Feels the confidence. That's that elbow. That's that, that veteran elbow Marcio oh, has. That's that phenom. That's that phenom. Marcio wow. Barboza. Marcio taking the win. Super oh. impressive. Three to two win over Tobias Sprong. Man, that was, uh, hey, that, yes. was, that was a match of night. Yeah. On, yeah. Match of the night. Come on. That's it. That's right. Everyone at home. Give a round of applause to Marcio Barboza. Man, that guy continues to impress all the time. Yeah. I'll, I, I think you can put him almost with anyone, and he will not give up. He will not give up. He never does. So, amazing match. Also, Tobias, great performance. Uh, 24 years old. He's like, twenty in 25 years, he can be where Marcio is. Yeah. Those guys that had two super matches, left and right, and you won both of them, and... This one was a war. It, it came and went and come back again. Were you expecting uh, such a tough match? Did you expect him to be such a strong guy? Well, Tobias is great. After seeing him beating Prudnik, I was like, well, I better be ready. So I just used my experience. That's how I win this match. Yeah, I, I saw that you, know, you, you did some adjustments yeah. and that that's how I won. And 
Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations, and hope to see you again here. Thank you very much, and uh, awesome event, Ingen. I'm honored to be part of it. It was honor. Take care, my friend.